Welcome back to Lisa and Company and check out this great fall video we have for you. Now I have to tell you I was so excited to get this project started that it was my daughter walked in who said, are you filming? And I had to quickly turn on the camera. So I use these Ikea pillow covers. I could have sworn they were less than this, but they work really well. I do make sure I wash them first so they are ready to go. Now, I promised myself I would not fall prey to this cute little vintage truck, but I did. I know it's everywhere and I didn't want to use it on my porch or in my fall decor this year, but I got this little pillow at a thrift store and then I found it on my Cricut and well, the rest is history. I do think it came out really cute though. Same thing as the previous pillow. I do make sure I wash everything first. This one was way more complicated to put together, but I love how it came out. If you are following me on Facebook, you had a hint of what I was working on the other night. Props to our follower Anika who figured out exactly what this quote was when I posted just a snippet of it on Facebook. If you're a fan of Anna Green Gables or Ellen Montgomery, you probably would have guessed this one right away. I don't go in for the, you know, grateful, thankful, blessed. If you want that, absolutely. It's just really not my thing, but I do love fall. It is pretty much my favorite time of the year. So when we decided we needed a new sign for the porch, we decided to go with something that was near and dear to our hearts. I did cut this out on my Cricut and honestly I think when you make one of these signs and let me know if you have a Cricut or a Cameo and you do make signs, I feel like the design part takes longer than everything else put together. So I'm actually just putting this on an old kitchen cabinet door. It's painted in Fusion Mineral Paints Coal Black. It's a color I have all over the place at home including on the porch. So I think this is going to come out really, really good. So did you read the Anna Green Gables books when you were younger? Let me know in the comments if you were a kindred spirit and you were obsessed with the Anna Green Gables books too. Now this door was a little bit larger, so I figured it was probably going to need something at the bottom. So come with me to the other side of the camera and I'm going to show you what I have all picked out. I found this cute little design with a pumpkin and the leaves and I think it's just what the bottom of that sign needs. So we're going to get it all cut out and then we're going to add it onto the sign. I think that's exactly what it needed and I love the way it finishes off the bottom. Another fall series complete. This one was a little bit more personal than some of the others. I do love that little vintage truck even though I said it was going to make it into our decor this year. And the pillow, well that was something my daughter and I came up with together. 
We're grateful for our home and family. I think that says it all. I did add a little bit of greenery at the top and the bottom just to give it a little something extra. And this, well, Anne of Green Gables obsessed. Always have been, always will be. Maybe one of these days I'll be able to put it all together and head out to PEI in the fall. That would be pretty amazing. I really hope you enjoyed this video and we hope we see you next time. Don't forget to hit that notification so you know every time we upload a video. Bye!